Hey guys, Travis here with Dutter's Dirt Bikes. Check it out. The brand new Pro Taper ACF carbon fiber inserted handlebars. You saw my last video, I wiped out and uh, bent my bars. So I figured I'd do a splurge and try out these guys. Um, definitely a hefty price tag. The Rocky Mountains, $125. They say it's super duper light. I'm gonna weigh them and compare them to my other Pro Taper bars. I got the same bend. Uh, I really like the CR high. I'm a taller rider, so I definitely like the bend. But what sold me on these bars was, <clears throat> you can see how the top part is actually flatter, longer, and you can see in here the sharper bend. So for my GPS, it's actually gonna be really nice mounting it along with your mode switch and other options in here. Uh, one guy, or I've seen other people claim or ask about how well can I mount wraparound handguards. I can't really tell you because I don't have wraparounds. I have the OEM KTM style, um, but Slavin's Racing, he did tap into this, the carbon fiber part, and his video will be later released um, after he tests it and tries it out. But I'm going to do some side-by-side -side comparison with these suckers, and... Uh, I don't know. See what a real difference they might feel. Ah, no time for hand tools. Right, here we go. Okay, so here are my old Pro Taper contour bars. I must have done a good job straightening them out at the track because they're actually really not bent. But I already bought new bars. So the old contour Pro Taper bars weigh 26.7 ounces. And the super duper carbon fiber inserted bars weigh 21.5 so that's a good five ounces lighter i did need some help installing it someone was telling me how i was doing it wrong the whole time all right guys there it is all done definitely looks pretty sweet you know for the money i felt like they could have done some cool little carbon fiber textures or something like that but uh, whatever um, you can definitely see how much more room you have on your bars. So if you got bigger GPSs or other bells or whistles on a fucking bicycle horn, you got enough room on these bars to put it. My GPS used to be over here and off to the side. It was kind of nice because it was out of the way. But now with my GPS being up here, I can actually uh, see it and touch it and, you know, use it a lot better. The mount I'm using is actually one of these cheap zip tie guys from eBay. It was like a like four dollars. Freaking works awesome. Holds it on there. Hasn't fell off yet. So there it is. I'm not gonna do an update video after riding it because we're not gonna feel any difference in bars. There's nothing that fancy inside of them. Um, if they're worth the money or not, that's I would only say it's only worth the money if you want extra space up here. I felt like splurging and trying them out means that's a brand new product. But yeah, there it is.